Hey everyone, welcome. Thank you very much for watching this video. So interesting news, guys. Interesting news. Palantir doesn't stop. Well, they got plenty of cash, so they can definitely afford to invest as many SPACs as possible, I guess. They have like, what, $2.4 billion, $2.8 billion in cash on the side. They're buying up gold and so on. But guys, they just uh not now but it's it just was revealed actually it's on the verge the they just uh, put this news out like 40 minutes ago and uh, the palantir invent uh, invested i'm sorry invested in a spac which is very interesting probably the most for me the most interesting one because i didn't really believe in this spac to be honest so they invested in faraday future which is a company that is coming out with its own electric vehicles. I, I will admit that I was not a fan of this SPAC deal when Faraday Future was gonna uh, announce it would go public through a SPAC. Yeah, I thought there were way better other electric vehicle options, but apparently Palantir thinks that Faraday Future is just fine. It is a legit company and they'll do fine and they invested in them. In return, Faraday Future will use Palantir's, uh, Palantir's data mining software in their vehicle. Thus, the thumbnail, Palantir soon in your car. If you're driving a Faraday, if you're going to drive a Faraday future vehicle, yes, Palantir will be inside your vehicle. And tell me in the comment section below, guys, if that's something that, I, and I would like to know this, uh, I would like to see these comments from Palantir investors. So for everyone who is a Palantir investor, how would you feel to have Palantir in your vehicle 24 seven. Let me know. So the data mining Palantir, data mining firm Palantir invested $25 million in Faraday Future shortly before the electric vehicle startup became a publicly traded company in July, according to a previously unreported Securities and Exchange Commission document filed late last week. So in addition, Faraday Future signed a commercial contract to use Palantir's software According to one of Palantir's most recent SEC filings, neither company disclosed how much Faraday Future is paying, though Palantir's filing notes the contract will last between four and six years. Representatives for both companies did not immediately respond to any requests or comments. So Palantir says its software is meant to serve as a central operating system for companies that need to sift through lots of data. Its customers have included the U.S. Customs and Border Protection, uh, various government administrations world in the U.S. and also from all uh, different parts of the world and so on. So Palantir has recently invested in a number of startups. Now far the future, we know some other SPACs that we did videos previously before and we talked about. So Palantir's investment was part of the so-called private investment in public equity pipe portion of the merger with a special purpose acquisition company. So Palantir's participation in the pipe is just the latest in a rash of investments so they take part in this pipes and they invest in different various SPACs but the fact that they invested in this one is very interesting uh, and I'm not surprised though right I'm not surprised because they what they was in Weasel one of them that they had gone and they had they, they had invested in so in, in some of those instances Palantir has followed up its investment with a deal to sell its software services to the company in question uh, as was First report in July by journalist Eric New a Newcomer. Faraday's future electric vehicles are going to create an incredible amount of data at least once they're built. The company's first vehicle, the FF91 SUV, isn't supposed to go into production until July 2022 and has been delayed for years as the company has struggled. Uh, but when it exists, the electric SUV will be do uh, dotted with sensors and cameras meant to power an advanced driver assistance system in the near term and one day something closer to full autonomy so you'll be driving the faraday future or you know with uh with cameras sensors microphones and palantir in your vehicle please let me know in the comment section what you guys think thank you very much for watching and i wish you guys all the best take care